If in your office, you as an intellectual worker were supplied with a computer display backed up by a computer that was alive for you all day and was instantly responsible, responsive, <laughs> instantly responsive to every action you had, how much value could you derive from that? Well, this basically characterizes what we've been pursuing for many years in what we call the Augmented Human Intellect Research Center at Stanford Research Institute. We're going to try our best to show you rather than tell you about this program. Okay, there's Don Andrews' hand in Menlo Park. And in a second, we'll see the screen that he's working and the way the tracking spot moves in conjunction with movements of that mouse. I don't know why we call it a mouse. Sometimes I apologize. It started that way and we never did change it. This characterizes the way I could sit here and look at a completely blank piece of paper. That's the way I start many projects. So with my system, that's a good start. I'll sit here and say, I'd like to load that in. So I'm putting in an entity called a statement, and that's full of other entities called words. And if I make some mistakes, I can back up a little bit. So I have a, a statement with some entities words, and I can do some operations on these. I can copy a word, I can say that word like copy after itself. Let's make more statements. I'll say copy that statement, and lo and behold, I have another one. Copy that one, another one. I can even copy groups of statements. I can say after that one, copy the group from there to there, and it does. So let me jump back to the head of the list, and I can do things like begin to reorganize it a little bit. Well, I say after bananas, it's more likely that I'll uh, take the carrots there. So let me organize it by saying, uh, just generally produce. All right, produce, I've got carrots. And I'll move under there also bananas. And in fact, I could move a whole group under there, say oranges and apples also. Well, I'm going to do something called jump on a link. And a link is something that'll go between files. So what it's going to do, it says, I'm going to go to your file name, a CNRO. So here's what I drew with a picture drawing capability here. It's a slight map if I start from work, and here's the route I seem to have to go to to pick up all the materials. And that's my plan for getting home tonight. But if I want to, I can say, the library, what am I supposed to pick up there? I can just point to that, and oh, I see, overdue books and all. Well, there was a statement there with that name on it. Over, so on his display, he sees my text, so I'll execute it, and sure enough, it does. But what's that, running around? Well, if he's looking at my text, he'd like to have something to say about it. So we put on a marker, a tracking spot that he controls. So he's sitting there in Menlo Park looking at this text, and he can point to it. But we've carefully reserved for me the right to control and operate on this. So my bug is more powerful than yours. <laughs> but we can have an argument. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what they call a bug fight. So. We've set up now audio coupling, and we're both looking at the same display, and that'd be very handy to work. We can talk to each other and point, and maybe later I can hand you the chalk on this blackboard, like saying, here, you control it. But let's stay this mode now, and add another feature that hardware-wise is available to the kind of display we have. I'd like to see you while I'm working on it. And we're going to go for a picture down in our laboratory in Menlo Park and pipe it up. Come in, Menlo Park. Hi, Bill. That's great, now we're connected audio, you can see my work, you can point at it, and I can see your face and we can talk. So let's do some collaborating. And a forthcoming involvement is this ARPA computer network, the experimental network that's going to come into being in its first form in about a year and end up sometime later with some 20 experimental computers in a network, which would be enough so that I could be running a system in Cambridge over the network and getting the same kind of response on a CRT. And it may be that people there, yeah, the next time we have a conference in Boston, I'll try this from there. And in that network, we're going to try to develop a special service to provide network information, relevant network information for people, for the kind of information that it takes to operate such a network. Who's got what services, what protocol do I use to get there, who's up today, how much, where's the user's guide, where can I find the paper that describes this system uh, that so-and-so offers. 
uh, and that's going to be a, a very interesting challenge for us to utilize our, our tools for organizing and retrieving information.